Hello everyone, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, we'll be doing CROD for roles and permission. First of all, we'll be doing CROD for roles and then we'll do the CROD for permissions maybe in the next episode. But before that, I have just changed the position of some files. I have moved the files here and there. So I would like to first show you that. And after that, I'll get started with the CROD because it will take a lot of time to show you moving the files here and there. So I just did that and I'll just be showing you what I have done. And now I would like you to introduce to this video sponsor, which is Cloudways. Cloudways is a managed cloud hosting platform which focuses on your business and avoid all the web hosting hassles. Cloudways will take care of the server setup for you. And you can go live in minutes using the Cloudways. You can select any one of these applications like WordPress, Laravel, PHP, etc. And you can host those in any one of these server like DigitalOcean, AWS, Vulture, Google Cloud or Linode. And also you can scale your server size as you need using the simple and easy user interface. You can use the link below to subscribe to Cloudways. And if you do so, you will get $15 as a credit. And you can use that $15 to set up a base server and it will last you almost a month, which means that you are getting one month free. This is the web.php file inside the routes. As you can see here, now it has only this thing. We'll not be looking into the front end for now. We'll only be looking at back end. So I have just removed everything from here and created this admin.php and moved things over there. For the dashboard, I have created a dashboard controller and then just added that authentication routes, all that Laravel Bridge provides over here. And you can see here this dashboard controller is inside this admin namespace, which means that I have created an admin folder. And inside that I have created this dashboard controller and I'm just returning inertia render dashboard, which was just as before. When we add this admin.php file or route over here, then Laravel will not know by default. For that, we need to register something in the route service provider. So I'll get you to the route service provider, which is inside this app providers folder. And here I have added these lines. Whatever route we write inside this admin.php will be prefixed by admin. And in the name, it will have admin. Let me show you over here. This dashboard will be admin.dashboard from this. And this dashboard will be admin slash dashboard because we used prefix over here. And after that, whatever the things that were inside this JS folder, in this resources JS folder, I have moved everything from here to this admin folder. I have created an admin folder and moved all the files over there. And similarly, in the views also, I have created an admin folder and moved that previous app.blade.php inside this admin folder. And this is the root blade file. And whenever we move this root blade file, then we have to do some changes in our handle inertia request middleware, which is inside this app HTTP middleware handle inertia request. And here before it was only app. Now we have to write here admin.app. Okay, because we have this inside the admin folder. So that is the thing. And similarly for the CSS also, I have created an admin folder and just moved that CSS inside that folder. So these are the things somewhere added. And there are some other things also that I have added. So here in the webpack config, webpack mix JS file, which is in the root of our project. Here, before there wasn't this admin part over here, here and here. I have just added this because now in order to compile the JS and CSS, it needs to look into the admin folder. So I have added this. And in the webpack config also, I have added this admin before it wasn't there. Now there is admin, which means that whenever we write at the rate, let me show you an example over here. So for example, I think over here we have something. So here, whenever we write here at the rate like this, then it will look inside this admin folder. And inside the controllers, here is the auth folder and everything related to the authentication that is coming from the breeze. I have added it inside this admin folder as well here. And I have changed the namespace of every one of these to the auth. I'll just commit it and you can just pull the changes and everything will be ready for you. And here is the dashboard controller as I have shown you before that I have created. And OK, I have also added some things in here, not here, but here in the git ignore file. I have added these two lines so that whenever I run npm run watch or npm run dev, the generated app.css and JS will not be added to the git. These are the things. 
this mix manifest will automatically be generated and let me show you that before we had only js slash app dot js now we have this admin also over here in the generated manifest dot js and whenever inner.js finds this file and if there is something changes then it will automatically reload the page whenever we visit some pages after that we have also some changes okay here in this app dot blade so here also I have added this admin and admin and in any places where we have used routes we need to prefix that suppose let's say we have only dashboard okay the route name then we have to write their admin dot dashboard so everywhere we have routes I have just changed that you can just look at the changes in the git so these are the changes that I have made before starting the crowd and after this we'll install spacy permission package and then just create a crowd for roles and permission and then we'll go for the users and then for the products so here let me add something setup admin dashboard after that i'll just push to the git and this is just an alias for me which will directly post my code to the github okay now let us install spacy permission package i am here in the documentation and i'll be leaving the link of this documentation link just below that like button now installing this we need to run this composer requires spacy laravel permission i have to run it like this because i have installed laravel valet the latest version of laravel valet and we can run multiple projects that are running on different php versions at the same time so for that i need to run it like this i have made an alias for the php 8.0 like this and i have to run here composer i have to do composer like this and then install it for your case it will just be simple composer require this spacy slash laravel dash permission so i'll hit run or enter the permission package has been installed now we have to run this php artisan vendor publish and i'll paste it over here and i'll do php8 and enter and after that i have to run this config clear since this is a fresh project i don't think i need to run it but let me just run it after that i need to run this php artisan migrate so php 8 artisan migrate and it is saying that this table already exists because before <laughs> i already did this so let me just run php artisan migrate press like this and then i'll run this php 8 artisan migrate and since i ran this php artisan migrate phase uh, it already ran this php artisan migrate for me because you can see here create permissions table so it is saying me nothing to migrate so that's done and what are the things that are added after we install this so we have this composition and lock file that is as usual and we have this permission config file and we don't have to change anything over here and this is the migration file that ran whenever we run that migrate phase so this is the installation now let us install the roles crowd for that we need to create roles controller so i'll do php artisan make controller admin slash roles controller because everything that is related to the admin will be on the admin folder okay it's created and here it is roles controller if i just show you over here inside this inside the controllers admins and this is the roles controller now let us go to admin.php routes file and here i'll create route resource roles and roles controller like this if i just use route resource then it will just create all the crowd related routes for me and also all those names for me and if you want to know more detail about route then i have already created a basic video tutorial about routes i think about seven eight months ago i'll be leaving the link of that also just below that like button you can have a look into it it is a very detailed video tutorial now let us go to rules controller and now let us create public function index and let me go to the dashboard controller and just copy these things inside the roles controller i'll return this inertia i'll import it which is imported over here and i'll return here roles index like this inside the roles folder we'll create index.view file i'll go here dashboard.view and i have this roles folder just before starting this video tutorial i created this folder so here i'll do index.view 
and I'll copy everything from this dashboard into this index for now and we'll be just refactoring these as we go because there will be so many things that will be duplicated and in order to prevent those duplication we'll create our dedicated components so here will be rule rules i think okay rules and let's say rules like this and here in the dashboard now here in our dashboard we don't have this rules here in the navigation so we'll go here in this authenticated which is inside this layouts folder authenticated whenever user is authenticated it will use this authenticated layout because uh, if you see here in this rules index then we have used this please authenticated layout which is actually this layouts authenticated okay now where was i so this is the dashboard okay yeah we have to create a navigation over here so i'll go here in the authenticated and i'll search for dashboard so this is the navigation link now we need to just duplicate it and instead of dashboard i'll say rows dot index like this and i'll say rows over here and let me refresh and it is taking me to this login page so admin at admin.com i already registered using admin at admin dot com from the welcome page for now we'll just do this okay super admin will be automatically created using the database seeder we'll do that also and every other thing or the users will be created by our admin there is no user so let me go to database seeder over here okay user factory create and the email will be admin at admin dot com and password will be this same thing and i think there is also a name field admin like this if you go here in the users table then what are the things that we need to add others so everything others are runnable so we don't need to add this so i'll run again php artisan migrate phase and if i just copy this and paste it over here and log in then it is not letting me log in because i forgot to seed so here like this and now again if i paste the password and log in then i am redirected to the dashboard page now also it is not showing this rules because we forgot to run npm run watch as you can see here i am I also forget to do a lot of things over here. This is common in web development. You just forget to do one thing and the other thing. And again, you come back and do that. And again, solve it and redo the things. Now, roles is showing. And whenever I click on it, it is not taking me to anywhere. I cannot find this module roles slash index. Okay, let us see what's happened over here. We'll go here in the roles controller. Here, roles slash index. And... And I think there was role. So if you just see here inside this, yeah, I have mean role slash index. So let us keep it singular over here, the folder names. Let me refresh and click here. Now it is taking me to this roles, okay? Okay, let me go here inside this role index. Now we can see here that some of the things are duplicated over here between this index and dashboard page. This thing is duplicated and we can create our own card component for this. For this one, we we'll create card component. And also I saw this PY2L well over here and over here, but this can be added into this layout, this one, this layout component. Let me search for slot over here. Okay, now I can just copy this thing and paste it over here and like this and let me just indent it a little bit now i don't need this thing over here in this index as well and in this dashboard also i don't need this because the inside the slot we already have written it and after that we have these rules inside this thing okay and this thing we can create a container okay because max width 7 xl in everything will be having this so inside here let us create container dot view and i'll just do this view three component setup like this and here it will have this thing and inside here we'll have a salute slot like this 
this container and here we'll import this import container from at the rate slash layout slash so at the rate will be inside this admin folder and then we have this layout sorry not layouts we'll be writing here components components and then container dot view the powerful feature of this setup script setup is that everything that we import over here will be automatically available here in our template we don't need to just import things around okay so here i'll be doing this container and here i'll do this and i think i ran yes npm run watch and here in the dashboard also i just replace this with container and here won't be the closing tag so now if i come here and refresh everything is the same and inside this view dev tools if i just see here inside this authenticated there is this container component the another thing that we need to refactor is this component we'll be making a card component out of this and this bg white we don't need because it's already there and also this thing i think we can add it over here like this now let me just copy this thing and go here inside this components and for a card component we can have card title body like that so we'll just make it here card slash card dot view we'll be adding this card component inside a card folder so view three setup and like this for now we we'll only do like this okay and whenever we need title card title then we'll create another card title component and add it over here if we need that for now we don't need because there is no titles over here so we don't need that for now now let me go here inside this here let us import that card and card slash card dot view and here we'll write here c a r d and as you can see here all the classes duplicate classes all those are removed and our code is looking a lot more cleaner card like this and here we need inside this slot we need this body so these things we don't want to write in every other of our application don't want to write this thing okay we'll write here inside this card component okay now we don't have to write this p dash six also we'll just write here roles like this and let me just copy this thing and go to this dashboard and let me also paste that over here and i'll write here dashboard and also let me copy this card and paste it over here and also the container that also i'll paste it over here so i'll just refresh over here the roles is looking good we don't have any error i think in the con console yeah we don't have this is just the fav icon i don't have fav icon so it is showing this okay this is a 404 error and dashboard also it is showing very nicely so inside this view if you just go here inside this authenticated and container we have this card component as well so these components are being used i think the video is getting too long and in the next video we'll be looking at the creating or listing of the rules so that's it for today guys thank you for watching have a great day bye